Okay, these are the notes for 9-3. Um, a lot of definitions coming back in. So a central angle of a circle is an angle with its vertex at the center of the circle. So angle AOB here is an example of a central angle. And the measure of a central angle is equal to the intercepted arc. So this red, what I outlined here, is what's called the intercepted arc. If you think of the angle kind of like a big mouth of a crocodile, what part of the circle is it eating? That's called the intercepted arc. So angle AOB is equal to the measure of arc AB. We're going to call this the arc angle. This isn't the actual like seven centimeters. It's measured in degrees to determine the fraction of the circle it is. So whatever this angle is, this arc is going to be the same thing. A minor arc is an arc less than 180 degrees. You can see that here that I labeled and drew that. That's arc AB. You're going to label a minor arc with two letters. That lets me know to go from A to B in a short way, not A to B around the other one. A major arc is an arc greater than 180 degrees. Now we can't use two letters there. I'm not going to know which direction to go. So when you're labeling a major arc, you are going to use three letters, A, C, B. Um, that helps me figure out the direction, also figures out where to start. So if I said arc ACB and you followed A to C to B, you're very clear as to which arc that is. The semicircles, I've seen them labeled with two letters, and I've seen them labeled with three. So I feel like you're, you can go pretty evenly there. Um, I do think three letters is better because it lets you know which direction to go. Um, but I have seen some textbooks use only two for a semicircle, so I won't be as picky with that one. And again, the semicircle is exactly 180 degrees. Adjacent arcs, we did adjacent angles, and this is the same idea. So AB in blue is adjacent to arc BC. They only have point B in common. So they're right next to each other, but they don't overlap. The arc addition postulate uses that adjacent arcs. That's why we had to define it before. And um, it's just the same idea as angle addition, segment addition. We're going to do area addition later. Um, where it just says two little arcs, so AB and BC, together make a large arc, in this case, AC. Okay, congruent arcs are arcs in the same circle or in congruent circles that have equal measures. So in this one, you can see AB, arc AB is 80 degrees and CD is 80 degrees. Since these are in the same circle, I can say these two arcs are congruent. Right here, it tells you circle P and circle Q are congruent circles. Because I know these two circles are congruent, and this is 80 degrees, and so is that one, I can say that arc CD is congruent to arc EF. But I needed to know they were congruent circles first. Now over here, if you look at circle O, I have an arc that's 80 degrees. But I did not meet that prerequisite of it being the same circle or congruence. This, you can even see, it doesn't even look the same size. So I cannot say arc CD is congruent to arc RS. I know you want to say that because they both say 80, but remember it's not, the arc measures we're talking about right now are an arc angle. It's not talking about the actual length if you put a string down. It's kind of talking about the fraction of the circle that's represented. In the same circle or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their central angles are congruent. Well, since the minor arc equals the central angle, that's gonna, that should kind of make sense. But you'll see that being applied later on. Okay, so in this first one, I have a circle. I have circle O. And what we're going to do is just apply the vocabulary. So using this, I'd like you to try and uh, write an example of two minors, two majors, and so on. All right. So here are your answers. Uh, there could probably be more than one. There's, I just used some examples, more than two even. So AR and RC, notice that I only used two letters, that they are each less than 180. In the majors, I use three letters. Notice that when I say RCS, I go R to C to S, so that's over 180 degrees. The semicircles, I did use three letters because um, I think that's clear as to which arc I'm talking about. An acute central angle, make sure the um, vertex is at the center. And two congruent arcs, in this case, are the two semicircles. They both equal 180 degrees. Okay, over here I have four examples. Remember that the arc 
equals the central angle. So here the arc, when they write 72, that means the arc angle from this point to the next point. So find one point to the other, that's the measure they're talking about. So if this is 72, this is also 72. So I'm going to encourage you to work on these problems and then come back and check the answers. Okay, for the answers, I already told you the angle one was 72. In this one, the whole circle is 360, so I took the 360 and subtracted the two other arcs off to find that was 95. This is a semicircle, so I did 180 minus 30 and found this was 150. In this one, a semicircle again, I subtracted the 130 and found out this was 50. You can work through this one in a similar way. It is circle O with O at the center. So push pause, work through. Okay, and these are the answers. You can see my work. Um, I don't think this is too terribly bad. Um, I used that this was in a semicircle and subtracted the two angles. If this central angle is 30, that means this arc is also 30. So that's where the other 30 came from. WOT, angle WOT is 50. It's a central angle. And XYT, I used the arc addition postulate. In this one, I think I skipped that one, so you can skip this one. I want to get to this one. The radius of the Earth is about 6,400 kilometers. I drew these little ovally ellipse things in just so you could kind of get the idea of three dimensions. So basically, a sphere is made up of a bunch of circles stacked on top of each other getting progressively smaller. So I drew a radius here at 6,400 kilometers. The latitude of the Arctic Circle is 66.6 .6 degrees north, so that means from the horizontal up to the Arctic Circle, that angle of elevation from here up is 66.6 .6 degrees. And I want you to find the blue, which is the radius of the Arctic Circle. Remember, blue and here are going to be parallel. So if you'd like to try and work on this one on your own and see if you can get it, I will. you can push pause now. All right, I work through here. Um, 6,400 is the radius of the Earth, so that is here. But this is also a radius from center to edge of circle. So this measure here is also 6,400. I knew these were both equal to 66.6 .6 degrees because they're alternate interior angles of parallel lines. And then I said, okay, I have a right triangle. Here's my right triangle. I have an angle that's not the 90 degrees and one side. I'm looking for the blue, so that's my adjacent, and I have the hypotenuse. So I chose cosine of 66.6 .6 is X, which is the blue line, over 6,400, the hypotenuse. I solved that and got about 2,542 kilometers. And you can check online for the homework.